I want to welcome you back to another build. Uh, this time it's going to be a little bit smaller than the uh, last trailer that I did. Uh, I still had a leftover axle from the uh, original build that I started and it's designed for a four foot wide trailer so I decided to go ahead and build a teardrop trailer that I designed with a few slight modifications and uh, that's what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step and uh, talk you through it as if you're building along with me so if you're interested in building your own teardrop trailer then follow along and I'll show you every step along the way and before you know it you'll have your own teardrop trailer that you can enjoy camping and boondocking and just a lot of fun trips with it. So before we get started I'm going to show you some pre-purchases that I made uh, before I get started on the trailer itself because uh, I wanted to have a stockpile of materials because I didn't want to have to keep running to the store uh, every time I needed something. So with that let me show you what we got and how we're going to start and then we'll begin. So it's time to get off of that couch. Let's go. So for this particular trailer, we will have a cooler in the back. So that was the first thing I purchased other than the axle, which I already have. So we're building the trailer around the axle and this cooler, believe it or not. And uh, we've got our shape. And we'll just design our cabinets around the cooler and we'll be ready to uh, be camping. So before we get started, the materials that I pre-purchased is I purchased three sheets of 4x8 maple. Uh, two of these will be the exterior walls and one will be the floor. I also purchased three sheets of 4x8 by, by quarter inch uh, Luan and these will also be the outer walls and one for the floor. And I also purchased two uh, of the particle boards, 4x8 sheets. This step isn't necessary for you but it's going to be for me because in case I ever wanted to build another one I'm going to make templates out of these and set those aside. And that's what I'll be making all my cuts for the side walls and uh, for the quarter inch Luan. I also have a four by eight sheet by one and a half inch thick insulation foam here, which we'll be using in the floor. Now to be covering the floor, the bottom of the floor, the bottom of the trailer, we're gonna use Phylon. So I thought uh, that would be a good way to seal the bottom of the trailer. The sides of the trailer are going to be uh, phylon as well as the top of the trailer. So the whole thing will be encased in phylon. I don't yet have the, uh, the top piece that's going to go over the uh, outside. But I do have the side pieces and one for the floor. So once we get the quarter inch uh, Luan cut to shape, then we're able to go ahead and fasten the uh, uh, phylon on. This here is eighth inch and it's a bendable plywood. It's a birch plywood, so it's uh, nice and smooth on the outside, um, and the inside is uh, sort of like a balsa, but it's a two-ply, and it's going to serve the purpose well as far as the inside wall curvature and also the outside uh, roof um, as we get going on that. So I bought four sheets, and that should be plenty. I, I'll probably have a little bit left over. I purchased that from a company called Bolter Plywood Corporation. They're uh, located in Massachusetts. So that's uh, online and I can put a link in the description below. Uh, they also offer quarter inch and different types of plywood. Next on my list of pre-purchased, I pre-purchased the Hurricane Hinge. I uh, got that from Vintage Trailers. Uh, this is five feet wide. My trailer's four feet, so I'll have some extra that I need to trim off. I also bought the uh, wide, two inch wide bendable uh, trim that go on the outside as a T trim uh, for the galley hatch. So that'll uh, overlap the seal on the outside of the trailer. Also from Vintage Trailer, I went ahead and pre-purchased pre-made doors. These are about 26 by 36 uh, tall, so 26 wide, 36 tall, and uh, I'll have one on each side of the trailer. They come with a locking, they have a window, sliding screen, and a ring on the inside, so these uh, will screw together and make a nice appearance on the trailer once that's, once that's on. And last but not least, I bought some uh, one by two by eight foot. These are the select white pine. There's no knots, it's nice and straight and very smooth. 
and that's what I'm going to be using to frame up my floor and uh, whatever's left over probably used for supports for some cabinets. So here is the axle for the trailer. Once the trailer frame arrives then uh, we'll go ahead and attach this from outside flange to outside flange is 48 inches. My trailer is going to be about four inches shorter and I'll have a uh, Oh, I'll have a little gusset on the side of the trailer that I can attach these to and be able to get to the bolts easy. And this is a uh, five bolt, four and a half, so it's uh, going to fit most trailer tires and wheels. And when we get ready to install this, we'll set the axle at zero degrees and try to keep the trailer as low to the ground as possible. I'm guessing it'll be about 15 inches off the ground once the wheels and tires are on. So that's a short rundown of the list of items that I pre-purchased. Uh, that's going to get me well underway. I'll have the sidewalls pre-made and uh, then we'll build the floor and then we're able to just put the sidewalls on and worry about the cabinetry later. So that'll get us a long ways and uh, yeah, so I'm kind of anxious to get started. So step one, let's uh, talk about what we're going to do. So to begin with, I have my plans and uh, this is going to give me the basic shape for the outside. This is what I'll cut the quarter inch plywood to and uh, attach the phylon for. And then we'll make another template which will uh, we'll have a, a notch on the front for the half inch and uh, then we can have that piece ready. So start with my plans and uh, if you would like to follow along and build your own uh, step by step along with me then just email me and I will uh, email you all the plans as we go along from the trailer frame to the sides for the cabinetry everything as we go along as I'm building it you can build it so in my next video I'll show you step by step uh, how we're gonna get the basic shape so this first piece a 4 by 8 particle board half inch is what we'll be using to uh, to get our shape for the teardrop our front curves, our bottom curves on the corners, and we'll get the nice shape for the uh, top of the trailer. And I'll show you uh, how to make our little blocks and the batten that we used and why. And uh, yeah, and really that only took about 20 minutes once everything was made to mark out my lines and uh, set up my blocks and bend my bend my batten around and clamp it in place to get my to get my edge. So it doesn't take very long and we'll uh, we'll be getting into that here shortly. So with that, that is where we're starting. I went ahead and did this part first but we'll back up and I'll show you step by step how I got to this to this point right here. So that's going to be it for this, uh, this video. Just an introduction of what we're going to be starting next on the next project and the materials I'll be using and hopefully uh, there's enough out of you out there that would like to join along in the build. Build your own. Get up off the couch. Do something. you got a garage in there. It's waiting for you. Clear an area out. And let's get started. Uh, so with that, uh, wait for the next video that comes out. And we'll begin construction of our little 4x8 teardrop. And uh, soon we'll have that sitting in the driveway and ready for some good traveling. So until then, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned.